And today I'm going to introduce you briefly on the Sunspot time series simulation. It is a very classic problem and um, there are so many uh, models you can use. However, it is still a very challenging problem. You can see this um, time series not only show some uh, seasonal patterns in this uh, series, it's a variation also fluctuates a lot of the variance within a certain time also um, the changes and the shifting so it, it would be a very very challenging uh, model uh, to do let's look at the uh, classic of the uh, traditional approaches and then we may explore more and more other alternative uh, models potentially it is a good fit for this uh, uh, problem well we can use the um, a classic rima model to do the simulation let's load the package uh, forecast um, then we will uh, take a, a brief look at the uh, uh, the time series as we can see uh, in the previous slides uh, we will run auto Rima model to see whether is there any good fit for this uh, uh, a trend or not. Uh, let's check the um, the order of the model, and um, so uh, the model uh, does give you a two one two orders, but without the uh, a seasonal effect so we may have to uh, specify it uh, manually um, well we can also check whether uh, this um, this model whether it is vetted or not uh, it is a two one two let's load the model uh, the the library uh, as uh, TSA also let's check the um, the model whether it gives us a, a good uh, a residue result or not that's just we can see the residues are, are still uh, significant it below the dash lines that means the p-value um, p-values are significant this model um, still have the, some residues and not random so uh, we can simply to say this model uh, is no good as simple as that so we can explore the other uh, potential combinations let's just see we can add the uh, season effect we know it is a monthly data um, we can check it out whether this will give us any reasonable result or not so this is fairly arbitrary uh, as we can see this is uh, not good either so uh, right now we may feel uh, it's uh, a challenging or it's uh, difficulties in this uh, um, uh, this attempt serious uh, modeling and in order to check whether there is a very kind of a, a regular 12 months a seasonal effect we can do a uh, 12 uh, steps difference and and we can plot this um, and to see well we still see uh, the fluctuations and uh, some seasonal patterns and that means the 12 uh, uh, 12 intervals or the 12 steps the shifting so still uh, does not get rid of all this uh, uh, seasonal effect so let's me uh, uh, arrange, uh, arrange uh, rearrange a little bit this code so it's a uh, little bit messy um, kind of a, like this is a this is session so like a brainstorm we can also uh, uh, check we can whether we can decompose this time series time series and, and, and to see is there any good uh, indications uh, after uh, uh, 
decomposing all this uh, element to see whether it gave us a good hints or not. So it, it is no good either. So this may uh, maybe beyond the tra traditional uh, models uh, kind of a scope. Uh, we may check the other uh, models such as the uh, neural networks or the other uh, models that can take care of these uh, uh, sudden variations or these uh, kind of like a, uh, you know, variances, uh, uh, a jumping around effect to smooth out a little bit and it, uh, maybe the threshold uh, model will be a good candidate. Um, but for now, we will uh, stop here and we'll give you um, some uh, some of our uh, predictions or uh, explorations in the future uh, videos. I hope you uh, feel this is very interesting and um, see you next time. Bye bye.